Hi everyone, it's Victor speaking and today we will be speaking about Vesta entering the sign of Scorpio. Now firstly we're going to be looking at uh, Vesta uh, and, and her meanings and then in the end we're going to be speaking about what Mes Vesta might mean for us in the sign of uh, Scorpio. Now the Ves Vesta, the last time when he entered the sign of Scorpio was on the November 15th, 2017. And then it stayed there for approximately about uh, three months till 14th of January, 2018. And this time around Vesta will be uh, triggering again uh, this sign starting on the 19th of September. Now, firstly, let's just have a look at what Vesta actually indicates in our chart. So she was discovered in uh, 1807. She's got almost a four year orbit. And in your natal chart, if you have got a prominent Vesta, it's going to be talking about, and not, it doesn't even have to be that prominent actually. Vesta in your natal chart indicates your sacred duty. So the history behind it is that she was an eldest of the siblings of Kronos, which is actually Saturn in astrology. And she was a woman who didn't belong to anyone. Um, and she was the keeper of the flame at the, at the church. And she had a very uh, important role because if people were coming, at that time there were no you know, such things like uh, lighter and so forth. So if people needed fire, then um, they came around to the church and then collected it. So she dedicated her life to uh, be a keeper of this sacred flame. Now, she also was um, um, a virgin, so meaning that um, uh, sh uh, there was no one allowed to look at them. And if they did so, then actually they became a rock as well. Uh, and this service was about 30 years, starting at the age of 10. So what's interesting about Vesta is that obviously she was the keeper of the flame till the age of 40. Now, we do, know, we do know that the maturation cycle of Saturn is around somewhere age of 36 to 40. But on top of that, Vesta has got a very similar movement towards Saturn, even though Saturn takes about 28 and a half, 29 years to go around the zodiacal um, signs. Vesta also has got a very, I mean, Vesta has got the same return date around exactly the same time when Saturn has got the first return as well. So Vesta is so much to do with Saturnian qualities, and it talks about your biggest mission in your chart. So it's uh, the area of life where you should be very dedicated, where there is that sacred duty element, and therefore it is a professional asteroid as well. So it could indicate what type of profession you should be um, doing. So she was basically trained to care for elders and tend uh, to the fires. Um, now in your natal chart, it could talk about delays of personal wishes uh, until you actually uh, accept full responsibility for your actions. Now, if you think about that, she was actually looking out for the fire, think about what fire is. So fire is something which used to uh, sterilize wounds and instruments. So the fire actually purifies something. <clears throat> but also, if uh, they were um, um, making some type of sacrifices, all those were thrown into fire as well because they wanted to get rid of the evil spirits. So uh, Vesta does talk about making some certain type of sacrifices in your life, taking away the debris to preserve what is actually important. So she is the goddess of the hearth, basically. Now, um, she represents actually from, uh, if we talk about animals, she represents the deer and the donkey. And when it comes to birds, then actually it's nightingale. And when it comes to insects, it represents spiders. And when it comes to a plant, then actually it's the representation of an oak tree. There are the reasons why, but um, I'm not going to be speaking about those. So, for instance, a prominent Vesta in a chart 
could appear uh, in people's uh, life when they are dealing with ceramics or they do some type of rituals or they uh, actually devote their life to virginity as well. Unfortunately, it will talk about barrenness as well in the chart. So someone who is not going to have children. Uh, but typically it's because we want to be preserving our security somehow. And also it appears in those people's chart who are committed to kind of be in the service industry in one way or another. So it could talk about medical fields or a nun or any type of service industry, really. Now, there were actually more uh, Vestas or they are also called as Hestias. Uh, there were six hand-picked ladies picked by someone called Pontifex Maximus and um, their duty was about cherishing this man. So whether it's a healthy or unhealthy attachment, you know, that I leave that with you. Uh, but Saturn was actually the dad of Vesta. Now, um, they were, of course, living in fear because if that fire, the flame went off, then, uh, then obviously their humanity would have somehow died. So it is a very important asteroid in your chart, which you need to be keeping alive. Now, Vesta can represent gender political issues, for instance, in the chart, or it could talk about things like that there are plenty of women in your family, especially if Vesta is somehow related to the fourth house ruler or it's in the fourth house. Um, <laughs> it could indicate that somehow the women are wearing the trousers there. So it does represent female dominated industries such as magazines or airlines. Um, as I mentioned, it has got that non-like devotion to a cause or a project or a person or even a belief that could be sacred to you. She relates to work, uh, but spiritual practices as well. Remember that certain element of sacrifice she always brings into the picture. And you might wanna be looking at the tightest aspect to your Vesta because that might, uh, 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 it can be opposition or square because that might be something actually you need to sacrifice in order for you to keep the flame going in that certain area of life where uh, Vesta is in your chart. Uh, Vesta can actually indicate celibacy as well as sterility or deviations in uh, sexuality also. Individuals with uh, very prominent Vesta may deal with issues related to purity, singleness, or some type of sexual trouble in their lives. So, uh, but definitely keeping the flame is all about spirituality. So fire represents plenty of spiritual matters. Remember that the Asian people gathered around the fire and then they were telling, uh, they were telling ghost stories to each other or they were sharing family histories. So it is about spiritual path. Um, uh, and they were not only keeping the flame, but they were keeping very important documents and wares as well in secrets. So it could represent actually sacred relics in the chart, uh, but it could talk about just some uh, family karmic matters as well, which you brought into this incarnation. And again, the negative aspects in your chart can actually uh, shed light what type of uh, family matters you might be bringing into this incarnation. So <clears throat> um, also the Vesta, they had a very high privilege uh, because if they touch uh, someone uh, who uh, were believed to be a criminal, actually, uh, and it wasn't accidental, it was something which happened kind of on purpose, then um, actually those uh, criminals were let go because they believed that the uh, Vesta the, the Hessians has got that ability to say truth from lies easily. Now, interestingly enough, Vesta was discovered on 29 degree of Virgo. And um, it does, um, and Virgo is a, a sign which is controlling, but it also has got that focal point as well. So Vesta indicates where you are capable of being utterly focused with a single aim where you should take full responsibility and make sacrifices for the greater good. 
of your own as well. And uh, that also uh, can show that area of life where you might be a little bit private of that part of your persona. Uh, Vesta shows in your chart where you must keep the inner flame burning and you must attend that no matter what. So I'll give you an example. For instance, my Vesta is placed on um, three degree of uh, Capricorn in the 11th house. So one of my sacred duty is to actually attend social media matters. For instance, this could be one of the um, uh, uh, interpretation of Vesta or something to do with my long-term goals to achieve that. And if I keep the flame going, it's Capricorn. So slowly but surely, I will achieve that. So some of the keywords you might want to take note of for Vesta is the principle of focus and commitment, dedication and aspiration towards a goal and a path, but certain sacrifices need to be made to attain that goal. Um, it talks about uh, liberated sexuality or sexual fears, guilt in your chart. It talks about uh, the fear of intimacy and commitment to someone or uh, the avoidance of marriage and wanting to have a child as well. So <clears throat> um, something to do with uh, uh, focus, purification, um, these people, a very prominent Vesta in the chart can actually indicate that someone has got that inner strength, that self-discipline towards something. So maybe it's on your midheaven, then it's towards your profession. Or maybe when it's in the, around the IC, <clears throat> that's going to be something to do with your family. And then you might never grow up or you might actually look after your family members and so forth. So... This is what series actually represents in our chart. And as I said, it's going to be entering the sign of uh, Scorpio. Now, um, you know, Vesta in the sign of Scorpio is expressing the personality in a very intense way. Scorpio always seek depth and go into details uh, in all matters and subjects, and they want to get that attention as well. Uh, probably uh, Vesta in uh, Scorpio will indicate that something to do with the physical intimacy needs to be dealt with. It definitely has got plenty of uh, relationship factor involved because at the time of Vesta ingressing into the sign of Scorpio, the ruler Mars will be in uh, the sign of uh, Libra, which brings in the, the attention towards relationship matters. Right, but also it could bring in something to do with legal matters as well, or just the way how we relate to others. Um, Vesta in the sign of Scorpio will definitely um, invite you to face some of your shames and guilt in your intimate relationship. And maybe that's the reason why you want to be repressing some of the physical needs of your own and maybe overcoming some of the frustrations in your relationship department as well. So one of the major question is that how I am, how am I going to build a stronger bond with my partner? And that strength is also coming from the modern ruler of Scorpio, which is Pluto in the sign of Capricorn, right? And that talks about solidity. So, it also talks about listening to your intuition as well, whether it's right or wrong, it's just all within yourself. Um, remembering that you possess a very powerful energy and it's all about devoting yourself completely to achieve something you truly desire. Um, natally speaking, these people are very passionate they usually want to get devotion from their partner as well, but they can also be very judgmental and very critical towards their partner as well. Remember, Scorpio is kind of an analytic sign. It sees you through. It gathers the data. It's the Sherlock Holmes, right? And it can go to the end till it actually finds proof, proof that um, she was right. So it does talk about the need to actually transform of your personality as well. Um, you might be a lot more drawn towards a supernatural type of things or just your psychic abilities are gonna be enhanced. 
um, uh, you can have a very powerful mind this time around. I'd like to mention that uh, we also call Vesta as a financial asteroid. So the asteroid of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and all those type of things. So actually in the sign of Scorpio, it can go to the extremes because Mars is in the sign of Libra. You know, I am expecting maybe it's going to be on the lower end or there is going to be some type of rectification made in the financial world to actually type kind of like trying to bring that up. So maybe someone is going to be investing money into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and all those type of things just to boost and keep it going, keep it together type of energy. Now, another thing which you might want to be uh, watching out for uh, with Vesta in Scorpio that we have got a tendency to actually doubt other people's uh, uh, other people's um, intentions and uh, of course uh, you know it just shows that somehow you are not trusting yourself either right uh, we need to be aware that um, this uh, part of the year is not necessarily about uh, compulsive behavior. So looking at from a deeper angle, where that might be coming from? Who did I hand my power over? Who took my power away? And uh, remembering that actually it might be your sacred duty to give that power back to yourself or to others as well. Scorpio can be sometimes a little bit uh, self-destructive also. So we do need to be uh, uh, looking at our uh, destructive behavior. Is that alcohol? Is that uh, drugs? Is that medicine? Am I trying to numb my pain somehow around sexual fears, guilt, and so on? So where is that fear of intimacy coming from? Because that's the biggest message with Scorpio, allowing someone to penetrate into my soul. Um, so focusing on these and healing those could bring you uh, some type of liberation from these. Um, Scorpio is the sign of death. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to lose someone in the family, but um, it can talk about opening new gates and doors to uh, a uh, <clears throat> advanced personality of yours to come out. It's just all about being uh, devoted to it. Um, Scorpio definitely pays attention to their survival instincts. And as I mentioned, uh, Vesta is kind of a workaholic type of asteroid. So it could talk about, uh, unfortunately, losing a job or wanting to find a new job as well. Uh, but because Scorpio is magnetic, so actually you can attract new opportunities, which might set you on the path you should actually be on. Uh, Vesta uh, in Scorpio can be very unshakable, but also it has got that uh, vindictive side to her as well. So making too, much, too many sacrifices in your life to kind of attain that goal. Is that really, do you have that balance, Libra in Mars, within your relationship and within your uh, uh, work, for instance, that could be one of the topics it might bring in. So where is your focus? That's going to be one of the key uh, question with Vesta in the sign of uh, Scorpio. Vesta in Scorpio can become very obsessive. We can concentrate way too much on secrets or psychological issues as well. Or you can be very devoted to dark matters, um, anything to do with taboos. So it could be from uh, sexual issues to death. So we can actually have fear for a uh, fear of death, for instance, and what's going to happen after that. So, but remember that the obsession is nothing else, just something which is actually fueling your fears around something. So Vesta in Scorpio is all about an encouragement to actually get in touch with your darkest side, getting to know your shadow self in a sense, and how you're gonna overcome that shadow. And that shadow, which, that, that area of life which is overshadowed, you might just want to be looking at where the Scorpio cusp is in your chart, 
right? So it's, it's about turning something sinful into sacred. Um, and with the elevation of a, a forbidden issue, which uh, can become actually a purpose in your life. <clears throat> so it's about awakening that massive power uh, and getting rid of the judgment and the fear around that topic. And then Vesta actually can um, unlock your true potential. And probably the higher manifestation of this is that it's something you don't need to control anymore is just going with the flow and then once you don't control it actually you can become that magnetic personality and bring in the uh, opportunities into your life so uh, vesta is something i really recommend looking into uh in your chart because it can actually give you uh, similar themes just like saturn does where are your biggest challenges but where can be where can you have the biggest reward as well in your chart once you mastered something but with this vesta energy it's a little bit more mysterious okay so thank you everyone and hope to see you soon with another video and if you like this one make sure you press like and subscribe to the channel as well see you soon bye bye